just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It's early Saturday morning. Why is Savannah out there with him? Last night wasn't that bad, but I'll tell you guys about it later. Good morning. So it is Saturday, and I'm just now actually waking up to where I'm moving around we took Boston out again we slept in here last night because he did not want to go in the hallway he did not want to go in my room on his bed he didn't want to go in nobody's room he was more comfortable in the living room I kind of don't want him on the couch but as long as that blanket's there he can be there but we put his bed on the couch I'll show you guys so his bed is on the couch over there. And when we finally did it that way, then he laid down in it. So we were here last night and we put his food away. I just put it down now. We put his food away because I didn't want him getting up to go eat and drink water or whatever and us not be able to watch him if he needs to go out. But every time he got down, I heard his feet on the ground and he's getting a little bit more comfortable, not too much. He'll come and he'll lay down right here or he'll go on the other side of the couch and peek down the hallway, but he won't go down the hallway. He will walk around to where the dining room is and come back or he'll walk behind this couch here because it's like an opening. So we're just trying to let him get comfortable on his own, not really trying to force him. So when I put his food down this morning, he drank like crazy. So he was really thirsty and he didn't want to eat, but I took some food out of the bowl and laid it on the ground and he started eating. And I'm like, but your food's right there. And then I was gonna like pick him up and bring him closer to the food and he backed up and whined. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe you're just not hungry. He ate yesterday just fine. So I don't know. Um, yeah, we know it's a transition and he'll get used to us. We did take him out last night, maybe three times, but that's only because we don't know him yet. We don't know his ways and he did go potty every time he went out um, because we peeked out the window. But he's an older dog. He's nine years old. I know he can hold it overnight, but I honestly think he had a nervous stomach because you know the transition it's hard on them so it's only it was only his first night here and I can't be doing it every night especially when I go to work getting up two and three times to let him out you know like he's a puppy he'll get used to it is like I said it's just he has to transition and as you can see I don't have a crate out we usually crate all of our dogs and here's the plan with that so we don't want to crate him when we're home we want him to roam, roam around, be free, whatever, because that's just what we want. I am only going to crate him when I am not home. So that's the only time he is going to be in a crate. And I know some people don't put their dogs in a crate at all. That's just what I'm comfortable with. But Tyreek is here for a long time throughout the day. So he doesn't have to be in a crate when Tyreek is here. He'd be in Tyreek's room. Tyreek could be out here with them, you know, or whatever. And then Tyreek can take him with him if he's just like going here and there um but not really in and out of his car because i don't want him leaving him in the car because it's starting to get warm right now but if he's just like going i don't know to mcdonald's or something he could take him with him but when he leaves for work he can put put him in the crate and then not too long after that savannah will be home so yeah he won't be home very long by himself the longest he will be 
alone will be on Sundays. And that's only going to be maybe like four hours. He should be okay. And then, of course, when we come home, we'll take him out or whatever like that. So he's actually outside right now with Savannah. It's pretty cold right now. It wasn't cold last night, but it's freezing now. And it's funny because I put this on my head this morning. Last night, I just forgot. And he looked at me like, what in the crazy lady do you have on your head? And just his expression on his face was just like, what is that? Who are you? So here is all the paperwork that I had to sign for him and everything. They gave him a care package. Hey, Boston. They gave him a care package which came with um, these snacks and he actually really likes those. These um, disposable diapers. We used one on him last night, but he ended up taking it off. So we just threw it away. And in here is just stuff that um, they have been giving him. Let's see, a Kong. Are you wondering what I have in his bag? Yes? Um, vitamins. I haven't had a chance to really read all of these, but I will today. Um, Consequin, um, joint supplement. They gave me this also because, and I researched this before I got him. Apparently, Cocker Spaniels need to keep their ears clean. So I set a reminder on my phone. Once a week, you need to clean his ears out. So I got that. I don't, shouldn't be that expensive, but it's a full bottle. That should last me a long time. And then also they gave him some wet dog food, but also pumpkin. So I need to call her today to find out, was this a mistake or do dogs eat pumpkin I know they can eat peanut butter but I've never heard of them eating pumpkin what else is in there oh like when you walk them the little um, bags in there to clean up after them and then she gave me um, flea and tick for the next month so yeah that's his little care package he came with I'm about to take Savannah to McDonald's <laughs> It was the cutest thing. So we seen some kind of personality. I grabbed the harness that he had on and I looked at him. I said, you want to go bye bye? He hopped off the couch, started wiggling his butt and got all happy and excited. So yeah, I guess bring the harness and you bring his personality. My has the weather change. It was like 80 degrees yesterday and now it feels so cold. Savannah. Savannah. She should take him down. I would go out, but I look a mess, y'all. He probably ran. He ran? Yeah. What? And yes, I'm going to McDonald's like this. No one is going to see me, you guys. I still have my bonnet on, and I still have my pajamas on, but I have my sweats on, so no one's going to see me. And Savannah is closing the garage. Come here, I told you guys it's broken right now. And her and Boston are coming around. I wish I could have showed you guys how lively he got when we brought the harness out. He was like ready to go. So somebody is still asleep. He needs to be up running around and playing. That way he could sleep at night. And it is very, very windy outside. The sun is out now. Earlier it looked like it was going to rain and it was cold, but now it's just very windy. I keep hearing things bang around outside the neighbor's side yard. And I am dressed now because um, I have people coming over to give me an estimate on the, my roof. Um, I have an old roof with the old wood shingles. I think it's called a shake roof. And... I knew when I bought it, eventually I would need a new roof, but knock on wood, nothing is going on with it, nothing is happening. So there's this company that's coming over to give me a quote. Maybe I can get financing. I don't know. I know a roof is pretty expensive, so we'll see about that. And then later on, I'm actually going to bring, there's a church member, her and her husband just had their second kid. and. We do dinners like that when someone goes into the hospital or, you know, has a kid. I think I told you guys that before. So tonight's my night to bring them food for the family. That way, just lighten the load. That way, they won't have to worry about anything but the baby and the family. So I'm going to do that tonight later on.
Y'all, okay, we just heard Boston bark. He's on his way back in the house. Come on in, boy. Come on. I have that makeshift screen on. Did you go potty? You want to come in? Yes. Come on. Come on. Say hi. You want to eat? What you doing? What are you doing? Going back to his spot. Anyway. Let me tell you guys what happened. So I had someone come give me a quote on the roof and then the sliding glass door and a new screen, right? So as I'm telling the guy that Boston has been so quiet and so good, the guy reached out his hand to him, not like you're supposed to do like this, like normal people do to a new dog for them just to sniff you. He had his fingers out. Boston nipped out of him and drew blood. I was like, what in the world? It it scared me because I'm like, I didn't expect him to do that. And I apologized like crazy. I'm like, I hope this dude don't sue me. On the whole story, I'm like, we're still getting used to him or stuff like that. So yeah, he nipped at him, which was really, really shocking. And now I'm looking at him different. But with us, he's fine. I mean, he's just fine. I don't know if he's not used to being around males, but he was fine with Tyreek and he was outside in the backyard and he was barking because of someone else was in their backyard or a dog like that. So yeah, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah, he nipped at Drew Blood. But I gave him a Band-Aid. I hope he's okay. I told him, I showed him all his shots. Everything's up to date. So that was, that was a little, a little weird. But also dogs I know can sense good and bad in people. I don't know. I, I cannot explain it. Yeah, tell everybody you bit somebody. You nip somebody. Yeah. See, how, look at his eyes, you guys. His eyes are like big, huge marbles. <gasps> yes, that's a good boy. Yes, and he likes to be pet and scratch, and he'll roll over on his back and have you scratch his belly. Oh, boy. Yeah, his eyes look like huge marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne's friend said he looks like a dirty Oreo. That's so mean, huh? You not no dirty Oreo, are you? And listen to me talking to him like he's a baby. You guys can tell I like him, huh? Well, pause your show. You hear I'm talking to our friends. <laughs> Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Huh, Boston? We're talking to our friends. You want to eat? Are you thirsty? You want to eat? Mm -hmm. He takes his food out of the bowl and puts it on the ground to eat it. Wow. Boston, time to go out. Go potty. Come on. I, if you grab that leash, he would get up. But then he gonna think he going somewhere. Oh, oof. Come on. <laughs> she showed on the leash and he got up. Come on, Boston. Come here. But you ain't supposed to be Come on here. my couch, bare Come butt. Here. Come here. He doesn't think he can jump off of it. Okay, y'all. <laughs> it's about 9.30. And when the scarf is on, y'all know it's kind of getting close to me going to bed. So Boston is actually in Savannah's room right now. We kind of tricked him. So we figured out that anytime you grab the leash and the harness, he gets excited and gets up. So she grabbed it and went in his room. So we took his bed and brought it in her room. So she closed her door and he's in there laying on her bed on his bed. Well, his bed is on her bed. So I just want him to get used to roaming and being, you know, in the house, let him see that the hallway and the rooms is not a bad place. So. We kind of tricked him like that, but she does have her door closed. But I told her if for some reason he starts whining and like being by the door and wants to get out to, you know, let him out because we don't want to bar him and have him be afraid or anything like that. So, so far so good. Y'all, I think my TV is on the verge of going out. Um, I'll turn it on and then not even in five seconds, it'll shut off. And I bought this TV and the TV in the living room on the same day, like within six months after I um, bought this house, right? And see, it just went off. And then it won't even 
turn back on when I press the button on the remote. I'll have to go unplug it and then plug it and then it'll come on. Sometimes it'll take me like two or three tries and then it'll come on and stay on. But I know TVs don't last forever, number one. Number two, this TV is actually on a lot, more than the TV in the living room. I sleep with my TV on a lot and yeah, it's just always on unless I'm at work. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a TV here pretty soon, guys. Um, if it goes out, it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world because it's just not, you know, but yeah, I'll need another TV soon. Look who came in my bed. Hey, and he's about to leave. But no, he's not, he's, he's snuggling up here. Hey, be careful, be careful. My bed is high. He had, he struggled getting up here. Savannah's teaching him tricks. He learned it heck of fast. I think Evie's Good talking to boy. herself. She's doing homework. Do it again. You see it? I seen it. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. What's your other hand? Yay, you guys. He is roaming the house. He is getting more comfortable. I know it's only day two, but at least he sees that the hallway is not a big scary place. And you know what? We were talking about it earlier, Savannah and I. Every dog that we had, Cody, Leo, and before I started vlogging, um, we had two chihuahuas. And I told you guys a story about that. But they were all very, very afraid to go down the hallway. They wouldn't come in the rooms. They stayed in the living room. I don't know. They just felt more comfortable in there and safe at first and then once they started roaming then they were like oh, okay it's not that bad so yeah I'm excited that he is just making himself at home look where Boston is sleeping tonight he is so comfortable now aren't you aren't you but you can't be sleeping in her bed every night you are not her dog he's my dog he's not your dog all right, Boston. Tell everyone good night. Say until next time. Hi, huh, Boston. <gasps> okay, tell oh. everybody. Say, we're going to end the video here. Give this video a thumbs up. Do us a favor. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Say goodbye. Bye.